If you ever cared about network neutrality, now is the time to act through comments, through talking to representatives, and frankly, through helping make this issue seem salient to people who don't spend a lot of time thinking what goes on on the router, but nevertheless use and rely on the internet. The future of the internet is the future of everything, every industry, every economy. The impact on consumers and citizens is not just about how fast Netflix videos play. We have benefited from an open internet without fast lanes and slow lanes. I think that's incredibly important for the future and health and vibrancy of our democracy. Any time spent asking ourselves whether this strategy or that strategy is a good idea is a waste of time because there is no executive committee of the net neutrality movement. The people thinking about and acting on this issue are not a battleship, we're a flotilla, right? There are a lot of different strategies going on at the same time. It's an important moment to do the very simplest, oldest thing in our democracy, which is to, as a regular citizen, make your voice heard. I think they should figure out creative ways to be involved in ensuring that the internet remains open and free. It's time for public to weigh in that these next couple months are the opportunity. I would look at this as our last best shot to do it. Call President Obama, call the White House, call their member of Congress. We are operating in a broader environment of widespread mistrust of corporate cronyism in our democracy. People forget that a lot of this uh, happening depends on how much you trust the companies involved. They're making all their profits using public property. We should be optimistic. We've done crazy things in the space of internet freedom before. And we're told all the time that things are impossible. We were told we could have never have stopped so far. I think we have a shot of winning. It really is a momentous political and civic choice for the country as a whole, which means that we and ideally people listening and people following this issue elsewhere don't just consume what people are saying about it and react in the usual political channels, but also that it becomes a, becomes a social conversation as well. Thank you.